inside of Vehicle Legends, there are tons of things to buy, such as money, game passes, and car packs. But today, I will be showing you which ones to buy and which ones to avoid. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe and drop a like on this video. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, now let's start off with buying money. Now, I don't recommend this under any circumstances. There's no reason you should need to buy money. You can easily just drive around and get it or just do some races to get it. There's no need to buy money in this game. Even if you have thousands of Robux, it still doesn't make any sense to purchase any money in this game. That's my thought on that. I really don't think you need to buy money. Okay, now let's move over to game passes. So we'll start off with the starter pack. Now, if you're a player that's been playing for a while, there's no need to buy this one. Like, I literally never even bought this one. Um, so this is the starter pack, like I said. In this pack, you'll get a free C8 Corvette and $45,000. But should you buy this? Like I said, if you're a new player, go ahead, buy it. It makes total sense. But if you're not a new player, there's no need to buy it. Okay, so let's take a look at the materials next. So we have gold, silver, and rust materials. Now, rust will cost you 29 Robux, and it gives you 10% more money while driving. Silver will cost you 79 Robux, and it gives you 15% more money while driving. And gold costs 299 Robux, and it gives you 30% more money while driving. So... Gold is a little bit overpriced in my opinion. That's a lot of Robux. 300 Robux, wow. But it does give you 30% more money while driving. So basically, it, it works pretty simply. You just kind of go to appearance, then you got to go paint material, then you can go rust, silver, or gold. In my opinion, all of them look like crap, so I don't ever use them. But if you're in desperate need of money, I mean, I guess it makes sense to use them. Whichever one is in your budget, you could buy, I guess, for grinding money, but I don't really think that these are necessary. I never use them when grinding. Well, I don't really grind on this account, but when I, when I have grinded in the past, I never used any of those. They, I don't really think they're necessary. Okay, next up, we have Portable Garage. This one's only 60 Robux, and that's honestly a great thing because it might not seem like you need it, but if you start to play this game a lot, you really are going to end up wanting to use Portable Garage. Like, you can literally customize your car from anywhere on the go instead of having to drive all the way to the dealership and go all the way to the customization shop right there. So, this one, I'm, I'm saying it, it's, it's the best one to buy. I know it's, it's not, like, helping you in the game too much, but, like, trust me, it's, it's just something handy to have. I really think it's, it's amazing. Go ahead, purchase the Mobile Garage. Last but not least for Game Passes, we have VIP, and VIP is amazing. You get a special chat tag, an exclusive VIP car, and 25% more money. Starting off with the chat tag, you can see right here next to my head, I sent a few test messages to showcase it. We can see it shows that I'm a VIP player, so that's a cool feature. Now, another great thing, 25% more money. Now, this isn't just while driving. You get that while racing, too, so I'm getting 25% more money as I drive around, and when I win a race, I'll get 25% more of that prize money. And you also get this super cool free McLaren right here. Check this thing out. Who doesn't want a free McLaren? This car is amazing. Let me go ahead and showcase how this free car can perform. Okay, I am on the highway race right now in my free VIP car, and I'm going to go ahead and see how fast the top speed on it is. Let's see if it's comparable to other supercars in the game. So, let's see. We are going 232 without boost. And with boost, we gotta wait until we are going downhill. So let me go ahead and get right there. Come on, we're so close. Okay, right here. We are going, let's see, we are going 250-ish, 249, 250, that's what I saw. So yeah, 251, okay. So this is a great top speed car you're getting for completely free if you purchase VIP. So yeah, I would say VIP is definitely worth it. I mean, you're gonna be making more money all around when you play this game if you're gonna be playing this game for a while that's very helpful you get a free car and you get a cool chat tag i almost forgot to mention vip will cost you 400 robux so definitely a great price as well okay lastly we have the track cars pack now this is an amazing deal and let me show you why so this thing will cost you 800 robux but in the pack you get a car worth 615,000, another car worth 370,000 and a car worth 2.3 million. So let me go ahead and add all those up real quick. Okay, so I calculated that it would cost $3,285,000 to buy all these cars if they were in the dealership for the prices that it says they're worth. Let's say instead of buying those with the money, 
let's say hypothetically, you spent that money on other cars, how much Robux would you have to spend to get that money? Well, let's see. So the closest thing would be the $4.8 million pack, which is 4,500 Robux versus the car pack. That's only 800 Robux to get those three cars. So that is quite a great deal there, I would say. I'm going to give you guys a little look at all the cars in the pack. So right here, we have the Aston Martin Vulcan. Check this thing out. I got it with this green on green spec. It looks pretty sick. Let me pull out the next car. Okay, next up, we have the McLaren 720S GT3. This thing is beautiful. Check out these mirrors. I've never seen mirrors like that on a McLaren before. Same with this spoiler. Another very unique looking detail in this car. Rear diffuser as well. This thing looks insane, and I love how many colors you can change. You can change this grayish color right there, the white color, and the blue color. So, so many different colors to change on this car. Very sick McLaren. And last but not least, we have the Ferrari 48 GT3. This one might look the craziest, I'm not even going to lie. Look at this interior. Wow, I didn't look at the interiors on the others, but let me go in free cam. Look at how realistic this thing is. That is crazy. Okay, wow. But yeah, I got this one in highlighter green. Another crazy spec. Okay, so I think it's only right to test these cars all out on the track since they're all track cars. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and show you guys the times. Okay, we are on the circuit race right now in the Aston Martin. So we're going to start off with this car. Okay, we finished the circuit race in the Aston Martin in 75 seconds. Keep in mind, I did crash like two, three times. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead and take out the McLaren now. Okay, we finished the circuit race in the McLaren in 76 seconds. Now, we're gonna go ahead and finish off with testing out the Ferrari. Okay, and the Ferrari finished the circuit race in 71 seconds. That was definitely my best race as well. I don't think I crashed at all on it, so... Yeah, I, I would say they're all great track cars. So yeah, I think we can all conclude for sure that the track pack is definitely worth purchasing. Well, that's going to be everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. I would truly appreciate it. Also, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you never miss another upload. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.